Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on adding or subtracting algebraic fractions with algebraic denominators made of single terms. So we're adding algebraic fractions but they're relatively simple because we only have a single term, a single algebraic term in the denominators. Now let's just remember how we add fractions in general. If I was to do say three fifths plus a quarter to add these, you need a common denominator. So these have to be the same number. And remember, you scale both the fractions so that you have the same denominator. What do five and four both go into? They both go into 20. So you make them both over 20. Now that came four times bigger. So that's going to come four times bigger. It's 12 twentieths. That became five times bigger. So that has to be five times bigger. And now because you've got the same denominators, you can add the numerators and just get 17 twentieths. And the same principle applies here. So for the first one, we've got 1 over x plus 2 over 3x. Now, is there something you could do to either or both these fractions to get the same denominator? Well, can you see, if you multiply that by 3, the x by 3, you would get 3x, which would match this. So I'm going to put times by 3 at the top and the bottom. And that means 1 times by 3 is 3. And the x times 3 is 3x plus the 2 over 3x that we already had. That doesn't change. And now because we've got the same denominator, we add the numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5 over 3x, and that's the final answer. Uh, what about b? It's very similar. We've got 2 over 3y plus 4 over 5y. This one's a tiny bit harder because you have to scale both fractions. But you just think, well, they've both already got a y in the denominator, so we don't need to times by anything y-related. But this is 3, this is 4. 3 and 4 both go into 12. So if you times the top and bottom of this fraction by 4, that would then become 12y. And if you multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by 3, the 4y again becomes 12y. So let's do that. So we get 12y and 12y, which are going to be the same. And the 2 we said we're going to multiply by 4. And the 5 we said we're going to multiply by 3. So we get that. And then we've got the same denominator. So we just add the numerators and we get 23 over 12y. And that's the final answer.